Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. In today's tutorial, we're diving into image in painting using the Flux Tools FillDev model and the Flux Redux model that was recently released by Black Forest Labs. The Flux Tools FillDev model allows you to edit and in paint images effortlessly, for example, changing the color of hair or outfit. And Flux Redux is an adapter for all Flux.1 base models for image variation generation. Given an input image, Flux.1 Redux can reproduce the image with slight variation, allowing to refine a given image. This method is also known as image-to-image -image generation or image restyling. So by combining both Flux Tools Fill Dev and Flux Redux model, this allows you to edit and in-paint an images effortlessly and preserve the image features without losing image resolution and integrity. The subject is edited using Flux Tools Fill Dev model while introducing controlled variations in other aspects of the image using Flux Redux. This synergy offers a robust tool for creating refined, personalized, and varied visual content. Let's get started. First things first, we've made this workflow available for download on Civit AI. To get it, visit civit.ai and search for AI Motion Studio, where you'll find our newly released Ultimate Flux Fill in Painting plus Redux workflow. Download it to use Flux Image in Painting in Comfy UI. Before starting with image generation, please ensure that you have downloaded and placed the following models in their correct folders. The GUF Quantized Flux Fill Dev Model. Download it from the provided link on Hugging Face and download it. Place the files into the Unet folder. The Flux One Redux Dev Model. Download it from the provided link on Civit AI. Save this model in the Style Models folder. The Sig Clip Vision Model. Check from the given Hugging Face link and download it. Place the files into the Clip Vision folder. The Flux Turbo Alpha LoRa model for faster generation. This should be saved into the LoRa folder. We have added the download links into this workflow. Just go to the links, download the file, and save them appropriately. Once the files is in place, refresh Comfy UI and you can begin image in painting. Now, let's explore image in painting using Flux Redux combined with Flux Fill Dev Model. In this workflow, a previously edited generation, we change the hair color of the subject by using this reference image here. And also take note that we just wrote the prompt hair to select the mask of the subject using the Florence 2. The result is an image that retains all the attributes of the original subject image, such as clothing and background lighting, but now features a remarkable change in her hair color, similar to that of the reference image. Now let's try a new image in painting by uploading an image of here for the subject. We'll also upload an image reference here. Now, we write a simple prompt of where or what we would like to change or edit in the image. For this example, I will write outfit and then click Q. As you can see, this in-painting works as long as you enter the prompt describing the part of the image you want to edit, and also uploading a reference image relevant to the part you are editing. So let's try out another example. For this example, I will upload an image I generated with flux of a woman's face, with her face partially covered by a wide white band across her forehead. So the idea is to change or in-paint that white band to a sunglasses. So for the reference image, I will upload this really cool sunglasses. And as a prompt, I will write white band. This will highlight and make a mask of this white band and replace it with the sunglasses. Really nice. The sunglasses look stunning. Now we can also change the red lips, so I will drag and drop the result of this current generation and then upload this multicolored lips as a reference image. Now I will write lips as a prompt and click Q. As you can see, this worked perfectly. 
For the next example, we will like to change a background using this workflow. So I would upload a subject image with a plain background and a runway background for the reference image. Now I will type background into the prompt and click Q prompt. As you can see, you can also use this in painting for background change. Finally, let's try this out with an object. Let's see if this can handle non-human images. I will upload an image of a house here, and as the reference image, I will upload a modern house type house as the prompt and hit the Q button. Really nice, and also maintains the text on the house. Really cool. Let's try the same for a car. I will upload two car images and type car as the prompt. Click Q button, and now wait for the result. As you can see, this works well with all types of images. Give it a try yourself. And let me know in the comments below if you're happy with the results. If you encounter any issues with the workflow or if any nodes are not working, go to the Comfy UI Manager, click Install Missing Custom Nodes, and then Update All before restarting Comfy UI. This should resolve any node problems. And there you have it, our complete tutorial of the ultimate flux in painting. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.